As entrepreneurs, one of our greatest desires is to be able to magnetize our marketing and be able to call in our aligned audience, those that we are here to serve with our unique gifts. Well, today, we're going to be talking about magnetizing your business using human design. And with me is the one and only Nancy O'Keefe, along with being an expert columnist for our business department of Aspire Magazine. Nancy is a certified quantum human design specialist and intuitive business coach who helps women entrepreneurs peel back the layers of who they have been taught to be and how they have been conditioned to do business so they can build a business that feeds their soul. Nancy is an author, a certified executive coach from the College of Executive Coaching, holds an MBA from Babson College in Entrepreneurship, and I am so grateful that you are here with me, my friend. And I am so happy to be here. I have to tell you, you know, when we first met and we I started diving into human design with you, um, and I share this story all the time, I was blown away with the reading I had because it gave me so much insight and I can remember you saying Linda you are doing exactly what you were wired for and I'm like what and then you went on to explain because of my energy type since that work with you I now send all my clients to you that are in my yearly program because the insights that human design gives us as entrepreneurs is so powerful that's why I wanted you here today um, in this um, business conference to talk about this. So what? how do we magnetize our marketing using human design? Well, each of us has an energy type and that energy type has unique energy. So there are five types, the manifester, the generator, the manifesting generator, the projector and the reflector. And I'm a generator, you're a generator. We magnetize our audience because we have magnetic energy. We can pull what we desire to us. Uh, the manifestors, as an example, they have initiating energy. So they're able to just put what they want out there and people will naturally flock to it. The projectors, they have to wait to be invited to share their insights. The reflectors have to be in the right place at the right time with the right people. So. It really depends on your energy and your strategy. And if you are acting, I hate the cookie cutter models of business because they have us do it all one way. And most of the way that we sell and market is the manifester way. It's initiating, just go do it, you know, push it out there. Um, and that only works for 9% of the population. So if we're wondering why we aren't as successful with our sales as we want to be, or why it feels yucky to do sales, or why it feels horrible when somebody else is selling to you that way, it's because 91% of us don't resonate with the way we're taught to do sales and marketing. Yeah, and do you notice too, um, especially those in the spiritual um, and personal and spiritual development, uh, many that I've known in the last 15 years of doing this work, they really struggle with the sales and marketing. And I've learned from personal conversations with you and all the articles you've written for Aspire is that that's because they're, they're not aligning with how they are wired. So it's almost like walking through mud, where if they just knew that information, adjusted their strategies to fit that, that's when things start to flow. So do you notice that a lot of us feel disconnected, um, those who are in the personal and spiritual development fields, we feel disconnected because the energy doesn't align? Absolutely. And because when you're not being authentic, people that you're talking to sense that. They feel your energy even over a Zoom call. And they you know, look at what you're saying and what you're doing and your body language, and it doesn't match the energy they're feeling. And all of this is subconscious, but the result is they're a little put off. The, the trust building process gets kind of, you know, a roadblock to it. And if you don't have trust, I mean, relationships are necessary in business. Everybody talks about sales funnels and blah, blah, blah. But the fact is business is about relationships. I build a relationship with you. If you like what I do, you like what I have to say, you like my energy, then perhaps we're going to move forward and we're going to work together. But if I'm coming across in an inauthentic way, 
you can't get a clear read on me. And that puts you off and it prevents you in many cases from having the success you need to have. And the, the remedy is so simple, just be yourself. But we've been taught to be a certain way. We've been told how we're supposed to do business. And you're, you know that is just so far from the truth. You do business the way it feels right for you to do business, the way you're aligned, the way you're energetically created. And human design can help you see all of that and make a few tweaks to your business. It's never a huge rewrite. Oh, I've got to do something else. It's always just a few tweaks. Everybody's so close. And if they just had this information, it would go a long way toward helping them see what they needed to do, not only from their own type, but to honor the types that they're talking to, to make sure that they're speaking to them in their marketing speak and giving them information in a way that the other person can receive it best. That's the other piece of it. Yeah, it's like two-sided. And one of the things I can remember, um, one of my clients uh, that I sent to you, she was so blown away. Her name's Lisa. She was so blown away by what she learned about herself. And one of the, the things that she shared with me was, Linda, after I had my reading with Nancy, I understood now why certain things I felt like I could was out of alignment. She said, now it's like, I gave permission. She tweaked a few things in her business, how she communicates. Yeah. And remember, she was so excited, but that's an example. She, I, I think the, some of the feedback we've gotten too is we feel like we're strangers in our own business because we're trying to operate by all the parameters of others or the world. Right. And, and of course, we're energetic beings. It, felt, it feels out of alignment. And it feels like we're wearing a persona. And right. knowing our human energy type is about removing the persona and revealing your authentic self. Yeah, getting rid of the mask. And, you know, I find in my, you know, business coaching practice, one of the major problems when people come to me and say, I don't have enough sales, is that they're not doing enough to sell. And why? Most times it's because what we're taught to do doesn't feel good. They don't want to do it. They don't want to pick up the phone and call a perfect stranger and push something on them that maybe they don't even want. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. So it's so important to get to know yourself at, at a level where you can break all that down and become very authentically you. Yeah, and, and you know, I'm in my audience knows I talk a lot about energy. If And it's something you just said that was so beautiful when we're hiding behind a mask or persona and they come to a sales call or they read the page on your website and that was not written from your authentic truth, your own energy type, your, I don't know, I, I, I call it your soul's wisdom, then mm -hmm. they may be to the words on the page, but there's an energetic imprint left behind from when you were writing it that says, well, I'm going to hide back here. And that's that no like trust factor that you're always writing and talking about that. If they want, if they get there and they feel that something's off, they don't move forward to do business with you. And that's all because we're hiding the essence of who we truly are to fit into a paradigm that isn't meant for us to fit into. Yeah. And now I'm trained in business. I have a master's in business administration. So I have been thoroughly conditioned to do things uh, in a way that really isn't the right way. So I've struggled personally. And you know this because you've helped me with some of my copy. Um, I've struggled personally to get the words out from my heart and ignore all the learning that I had uh, in my degree programs and, you know, around more of the, the masculine business model that you talk about. Um, yeah, it's, it's even hard for me. And I understand human design really well. And I know myself really well. And yet when the words are put on the page, they're not always the right words. They don't have the right energetic flavor. So it's difficult to come around to a new way of thinking about yourself and how things should be done. And one of the things I think people really struggle with is we want to fit in. We want to be accepted. We, um, it's very important for us. So we look to do things the way everybody else says we should do it. So we fit in, but really the right way to do it is to do it your way because everybody came here with a unique set of talents and skills and a unique purpose. And you're here to contribute that to the world right now. That's why you're here now. 
And if you're always looking to someone else for all the answers and not doing what's in your heart and what feels right for you, you're shortchanging yourself. You're not giving your gifts, but you're also shortchanging the human race because you came here to do a certain thing and contribute in a certain way. So it's, it's really powerful. It's been, it's been really powerful for me too. And I want to talk about the flip side since you brought it up. So, so this is about magnetizing your marketing with human design, but even when, so it's like finding the right language, using your energy type, finding the strategies that align with your, how you're wired. But on the flip side, when we are writing copy, whether it's for an email, a new program or a web page, you mentioned something about we have to also speak to the five energy types. So right. we have to show up authentically in our messaging. That's our energy type. But then we have to use content that speaks to the right. five. So right. tell us why, like why, how would, will they receive our words based on their energy type? Well, let's look at the generator since you and I are both generators. We're built to respond. We can't initiate. So the best way to get us to respond is to ask us a yes, no question. So somewhere pretty high up in your marketing copy should be a really clear yes, no question because 70% of the population are generators. So, you know, what would it be like if, or it has to be a yes, no, not an open-ended question. And if you have that, that gives the generator something to respond to. So now they're gonna be interested in learning more. The other thing that drives a generator is passion. So if you're passionate about what you're doing and that comes through in what you're writing or saying, then they will pick up on that passion and it will make it more interesting for them. The projectors have to be invited. That's their strategy. You have to use the word invitation. I invite you to attend my masterclass or whatever it is. If you use that word, that'll perk up the projectors, 20% of the population. When it comes to the reflectors, it's a little bit more difficult in marketing copy because they have to be in the right place, the right time, right people, but they're only 1% of the population. So you probably don't really need to worry too much about them. The manifestors, they react based on a gut reaction. So you need to give them plenty of information up front about the who, what, where, when in a pretty concise um, speak they're going to look at it quickly and decide yay or nay based on their gut reaction. So, you know, the other thing that plays into your copy is the buying decision. You know, you want to give people the right environment that lets them make the purchase decision. So that's covered in the authority in human design. We all have a decision-making center, which by the way, nobody has the head as a decision-making center. So throw logic right out the window. It's all about feeling into the decision. And what we want to do is we want to give the emotional uh, decision makers, people with emotional authority, we want to give them the ability to have time to make their decision because they need to ride what's called the emotional wave. So they're not going to react to fast acting bonuses and things like that. They're going to be people that need time to think it over. Now they can mostly they're going to be generators and they can make a quick decision. But what might happen if you don't give them time is they will end up saying yes, thinking about it, deciding it's not a yes. So they'll fail to pay or they won't show up or they won't complete the course, none of which serves either you or your client. So you want to make sure you give them every opportunity to be successful. And then we have people that need to talk it through. Again, they need time. Um, and they need to leave you and go and talk to, you know, a friend, a husband, a wife, whatever it is, uh, to talk it out. So there's a variety of different authorities. And um, it's important to respect that in terms of the buying process to give the, you know, your client the opportunity to go through their own way of doing things and make the decision that's right for them. Ladies, are you listening to this? This is just two of the elements. Are you showing up authentically in your marketing and speaking to each one of them? And those were powerful tips, especially on like writing the copy to speak of how each of them. But this is how human design, this is just two elements of how 
human mm -hmm. design can really help you in your business. And it, it, it's even more, it's even bigger than that. Because one of the things is like the no like trust factor. We talk about this a lot. I, I teach business in using feminine principles. It's, I did the masculine. And then my epiphany was I didn't fit in back in 2009. That's not who I am wired to be. So I had to create a new model. The no like trust factor is so key. And Nancy and I have had so many great conversations about this because it's about relationships in the world for a while was all about, let's just get the sale. They look at it as numbers and not humans on the other end, not personal and human design helps you be so authentic that it is enhancing your know like trust factor which creates relationships which creates business opportunities which creates long-term business opportunities i mean nancy and i have been working together and playing together for a while and i love having her in my events because this is a sacred gift that you give yourself but you've also given it to your business right so the know like trust factor is one of the key things you write a lot about because it's so critical to business success, isn't it? Right, it is. And we all talk about the no like and trust factor. Um, it's a, you know, it's a big deal in business. And, you know, knowing somebody, that's a chemical thing. Uh, when you get on a Zoom call, or you're in person with somebody, uh, <clears throat> they decide almost immediately whether or not you're somebody that whose energy feels good and chemically, they might want to get to know a little bit more about you. Um, you know, the, the no part is sort of, behind the scenes, there's not a whole lot you can do about that unless you, you know, have some kind of complete business faux pas, <laughs> you know, and, you know, other than that, it's, it's going to happen behind the scenes. The other piece is the like, again, that's chemical. So, um, you know, if you're nice and you're open and you're authentic, people will feel that you're being authentic and they'll be able to learn to like you much quicker. That like, time will be cut way down. It's the trust, I think, that's the hardest thing. Again, I mentioned that your energy precedes you. You walk into a room, your aura extends out 10, 12 feet ahead of you. People are feeling you before you even get in the room and say anything. So if you're, what they're feeling doesn't match what you say or do, they're immediately going to feel like there's a reason to mistrust you. So trust is very, very important. And I'd like to give the listeners a few tips on gaining trust. Yeah. Um, there's five, I, I use the word trust, T-R-U-S-T. -T, and the first one is transparency. Uh, again, that's about being authentic, but it's about being real. It's about being truthful. It's about not telling stories or, you know, your body language is an, impacted by what you say. So if, you know, if I say to you, oh, well, yes, I, I'm only... Uh, you know, 22, and you know darn well I'm not, uh, already we're creating mistrust. So transparency and honesty is very, very important. Relationships get built when you listen. The best gift you can give someone is to listen to them and not listen in a way that uh, helps you to prepare for what you're going to say next, but listen in a way that creates uh, understanding and listen in a way that creates connection. So listening is the relationship building piece of trust. The you is about the understanding. So listen to understand what, where they're coming from and be able to kind of parrot that back to them so that they get the idea that A, you see and hear them, B, you care about them, and C, you, you really feel like maybe you can help them if you can. And oh, by the way, if they're not for you, if you can't help them, don't try to force it yourself into a relationship, just be transparent and honest. Gee, I don't really do that, um, but I know somebody who does, or you might head off in this direction to get help with that. Be real, that's what it's all about. The S in trust is about sharing success. So you wanna be in a position where you create shared success. Um, every business deal is got to be a win-win. There's got to be something of equal value that's exchanged. If not, again, that's going to build up um, a sense of mistrust. When you're, you know, are you a snake oil salesman? You're selling me this stuff and 
you know, I don't see really what I'm getting and I'm giving you a lot of money. So the value exchange is very important and the shared success. And finally, the last T is about telling the truth, which I kind of already alluded to, but people can tell if you um, are lying. And there used to be a, a great television show on, it went off, but the company, the premise of the whole company was they looked at people to decide whether they were telling the truth or not. And they helped to solve crimes based on that. So you really can tell there are uh, facial emotions, body expressions, different things that kind of give you a clue. And even if you don't think you know anything about body language and nonverbal communication, you do. You get a gut sense and you will shy away from somebody who doesn't feel like they're being truthful. So those are the three or the five things rather around trust that help build trust. Um, listening, being transparent, being truthful, going for a shared success, a win-win, and really listening to understand where the person's coming from and then meeting them where they are, not just listening so you can say, oh, here's what I'm going to come back with, you know, or, oh, here's how my program fits in with what you're dealing with. You know, you have a relationship you want to work on and I do sales and marketing, I but I can force fit that, uh, you know, influencing, that could be like, you know, it's just, it's just not good. <laughs> no, and and in business, the the reason I love human design is it helps us a deeper understanding for ourselves. So to me, that's a powerful personal development tool. Absolutely. But those of us in the spiritual and personal development, a lot of us are coaches, healers, therapists, etc. Those are deep, intimate relationships in business. Right. I think it's key. <clears throat> for us to be fully evolved spiritual entrepreneurs, that we got to do the inner work. We have to know this part of ourselves, right. <clears throat> excuse me, in order to show up and be not only successful, but be of service in our business. Right. So, you know, I want to encourage everybody, if you have not had a human design reading, give yourself that gift. Um, Nancy has a free gift for you today. We're going to continue talking, but... We're going to, right below this video is a gift called Three Keys to Unlock Your Business Success with Human Design. It's one of your most powerful uh, and popular gifts that everybody loves. So tell them what they will learn in that, Nancy. Well, the um, the ebook talks about what I've just been talking about. What I call them the big three of human design, your energy type, your strategy, and your authority. So we said your energy type that helps you understand how you navigate the world and also how your clients or potential clients would navigate the world. And it's pretty easy once you get a little bit versed in human design to spot the types. Um, the other thing is your strategy. We said the generator responded, the projector had to be invited. That's how you, what you have to play to. That's how they're wired to get you know, their things out into the world or make their decisions is the final thing. That's the authority that we talked about. So the ebook goes into a little bit more detail on those big three, as I call them. Beyond that, your human design has uh, centers, gates, channels, you know, so many other circuits, so many other aspects, which I call your natural skills and talents. You have your life purpose, which is your life's work. Uh, you can get that easily in your human design and then see what gifts and talents you came into the world with to support you in living out that purpose and doing that life's work. And it's really more about how you're being in the world as opposed to what you're doing. You can um, tweak any business in any industry to, to satisfy your life's purpose and your life's work. So it's not about, oh gosh, you know, I'm in uh, career coaching and I uh, shouldn't be, I'm not built for that. It's not about that. It's about bringing yourself into your work and tweaking it in a way that really allows you to shine and use all the light side of your energy. All the energies in the chart have a light and a shadow side. Some of us aren't living in our light side of the energy. We're living in the shadows. We're not expressing the highest potential that we have. We're not taking advantage of all the possibilities. That's another area where human design can help you because we've been told what's valued and what isn't. We've been told all of my life, don't bring emotion to business. 
it's logical pros and cons weigh the weigh the you know logic no emotion has a definite place in business i use intuition in a big way i have a lot of the knowing circuit in human design i'm very intuitive and i have always used that in my business now did i say i was using my intuition no because you know, a few years ago, back in the day before it became more mainstream, if I had said, yeah, I just got a download and, uh, you know, they would have kicked me out of the office, right? <laughs> so but see, because you understood how you were wired, that you have a strong knowing wiring in your human design. It, it's just you let it come out into the light, which helped you be even more successful in business. Right. And, you know, I had a lot of male clients at one point in my career. I uh, serviced larger companies. And, um, you know, it was interesting <laughs> because I'd come up with some harebrained idea that was downloaded to me. And they'd be like, oh, did you write that down? That's brilliant. And I'm thinking, yes, it was. <laughs> you know, it wasn't mine. It came from above. But I didn't tell them that. Um, but I could still use that information. So even when you're discouraged from using your gifts and talents because they're quote not accepted in the business world use them anyway just you know do your thing be yourself that's the best gift you can give yourself and your client and unfortunately we've all been conditioned by well-meaning parents and by school and society and the business world so that we've hidden some of the juiciness about us we don't respect differences anymore we like to have people conform and one of the biggest pluses for human design is that it shows us that each and every one of us is different. And we all are a piece of the puzzle. If you don't have all the puzzle pieces, you know what it's like when you go to do a jigsaw puzzle and you looking all over in the box for that last piece, but it's not there. It's you know under the couch or something. It's frustrating. You can't complete the picture. And that's the way it is with human design. If we don't let people give their gifts and do what they came here to do. We're shortchanging them and we're shortchanging the human race, really. So powerful, so powerful. And I wanna encourage everyone, listen, give yourself this gift, download Nancy's gift down below, start diving into the energies of human design, learn about it. If you're so called, work with Nancy, get a reading, but at least download the free gift below called, again, sorry about that. Uh, three keys to unlock your business success with human design right below. Grab it. I'm going to tell you it's going to be one of the greatest gifts you've given yourself um, for your personal and spiritual growth, but also for your business marketing. It is key. It has really helped many of my clients get a deeper understanding on why things felt out of alignment. So Nancy, as always, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here and be able to share this information. I'm just so passionate about it. I hope at some point everybody looks into human design. Yes. Yes, I agree. So thank you, everyone.